Don't lower your God. Judges chapter 16, verses 16 and 17. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him so that his soul was vexed to death that he told her all his heart and said to her, No razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. So as we progress in Samson's story and his life, we know how the Philistines set him up. They sent Delilah to him to entice him. The intent was very clear, find out the secret of his strength. And so here was Delilah continually, not only just enticing him, but now wanting to know the secret of his strength. And as you read here in this passage, she pestered him, meaning, uh, you know, uh, she would just constantly, day after day after day, say, Samson, you know, what is the secret of your strength? And maybe she played games. She, she must have said, Samson, if you really love me, you're going to tell me everything. Or Samson, you know, you've got to do this for me and you have to tell me. So she pestered him to the point Samson just gave up. And he dropped his guard. And he revealed his secret. And he said, I am a Nazarite. I've been consecrated to God. I'm set apart for God, and a sign of my consecration is this. One of the things God told my mother, to, and, and which was being instructed to me, is I mustn't shave my head. It wasn't about the length of the hair, it wasn't about the hair itself, but it was about the consecration of his life before God. That was the key. And this was only an expression of his consecration, that he was a man set apart for God, for the call and an anointing of God on his life. But the moment he revealed that secret, what happened? It was an opportunity for the, uh, for, the, for the Philistines through Delilah to cause him to come out of that place of consecration. And that began his downfall. A very unfortunate ending, but we've got to learn lessons from his life. So don't drop your guard. The enemy is very persistent. If we gain a victory over the enemy's intrusions today, does not mean he's not going to make an attempt tomorrow or the day after or after a period of time. Today's victories does not ensure us from future attempts of the enemy. So we always have to be on guard. And never drop your guard. Never move out of your place of consecration to God. Because your place of consecration is your place of immunity. It is in that place where you are divinely protected. When you and I move out of that place, we become vulnerable. We drop our guard. There is a vulnerability that, that, that this enemy can take advantage of. So always protect your place of consecration to God because that is your place of immunity in God. Never drop your guard. Watch because the enemy is persistent in his approach, in his attacks. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will help us keep our guard up all the time to be vigilant and Lord, to maintain our place of consecration to you and before you. And never let the enemy step in to that place. Give us the grace we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.